dear learners! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Special shoutout sa aking mga masusugid na tagapanood at taga-suporta na walang iba kundi si na Jane Chloe, Jax Gyro, Glacier Isentale at Erich Jane. Maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na panonood at pagsuporta sa ating science learning videos. Handa na ba kayo para sa ating panibagong lesson sa episode na ito? My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new lesson para sa Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. In our last science episode, you learned about force and its effect on the size, shape, and movement of an object. Again, force is a push or a pull. When force is applied to an object, it can change its size and shape. It can also affect the movement of an object. It can cause an object to move and it can stop the object in motion. For a quick review, can you identify the change that force can make on these situations? Comment down your answers below this video. Now that you know the effects of force to an object, we can now move forward to our next science lesson, which is entitled, Force Exerted by Magnets. Science Learning Episode, Force Exerted by Magnets. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to identify the objects that are attracted to magnet and describe the force exerted by magnets. Magnetism is a force all around us. It cannot be seen, but the way it behaves and acts can be seen. Magnets exert a force of attraction on anything that is made up of iron, nickel, and cobalt. To find out the materials that are attracted and not attracted to magnet, let us do a short activity. Now, let us proceed to our experiment time. Here are the materials that we are going to use in this activity. Battery, safety pin, thumbtacks, keys, plastic fork, pencil, rubber band, push pin, glass, and of course, magnet. Here is what we are going to do. Number 1, copy the table shown on your notebook. Number 2, place the magnet near each object and check if it is attracted or not attracted. Number 3, record your observations and answer the guide questions after the activity. Now, let us try to answer the guide questions of this activity. Number 1. What materials are attracted to the magnet? Number 2. What are they made of? Number 3. What materials are not attracted to the magnet? And number 4. What are they made of? Now, let us mark your answers. Number 1. What materials are attracted to the magnet? The answers are thumbtacks, pushpin, safety pin, 
keys, and batteries. Number two, what are they made of? They may be made of nickel, iron, and cobalt. Number three, what materials are not attracted to the magnet? The answers are plastic fork, rubber band, pencil, and glass. What are they made of? They are made of plastic, rubber, wood, and glass. Do you have the same answers with me? You're doing a good job! Now, let us discuss the important key points of this activity. Magnets can attract materials but not all materials are attracted to magnet. Materials made of metals are attracted to magnet. They may be made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. Lastly, materials which are non-metals are not attracted by magnets. These may be made of rubber, wood, or plastic. Magnets of Invisible Magnetic Field Ito ay nagpapakita ng tinatawag na non-contact force o isang uri ng force na nagaganap sa dalawang object na hindi naglalapit o nagdidikit. It acts at a distance even without touching each other. To observe this, let us do the floating paper clip activity. Here are the materials that you need in doing this activity. Thread, magnet, stand, paper clip, tape, cardboard, ruler, popsicle stick, screw, and metal spoon. Here is what we are going to do. Number one, tie the paper clip on one end of the thread and tape the other end to the base of your stand. In my case, I used a chair. Number two, help up the clip using the magnet tape at the top of your stand, securing a gap between them as shown in the picture. And lastly, slide on the gap the ruler, popsicle stick, cardboard, screw, and metal spoon and observe what happens to the paper clip. Do this with the guidance of your parents or anyone at your home. Now, let us try to answer the guide questions for this activity. Number one, what materials could be slid through the gap without dropping the paper clip? Number two, what materials definitely cut out the magnetic force? And number three, what does it say about the magnetic force? Now, let us mark your answers. For number one, the materials that could be slid through the gap without dropping the paper clip are plastic ruler, popsicle stick, and cardboard. For number two, the materials that definitely cut out the magnetic force are screw and metal spoon. And for number three, magnetic force is invisible and a non-contact force. It acts at a distance even without touching the object. Do you have the same answers with me? You're doing a good job! Excellent! Now let us discuss several types of magnets and magnets polarity. Magnets can be ring magnets, rectangular magnets, horseshoe magnets, and bar magnets. One end of a bar magnet is called the North Pole, while the opposite end or pole is called the South Pole. 
This is the reason why magnets are called dipoles, meaning they have two opposite ends or poles. When two magnets of the same poles are placed close to each other, they repel or push each other. When two magnets of opposite poles are placed close to each other, they attract or pull each other. So now, let us discuss some of the key points of our today's activity. Ang magnetic field ay ang area sa palibot ng magnet natin kung saan nakabubuo ng magnetic effect ang magnetic force na inilalabas ng magnet. So as you can see sa ating video, ang magnetic force ay mas malakas sa opposite poles ng ating bar magnet. Although ginagalaw natin yung bar magnet natin, yung iron filings ay hindi gaanong attracted sa middle part ng ating bar magnet. This is because ang magnetic force sa gitna ng ating bar magnet ay weaker compared sa opposite poles ng ating magnet. So makikita natin yung magnetic field sa picture na ito sa kung paano inarrange ng iron filings ang kanilang sarili sa palibot ng ating magnet. Magnetic field can also be shown by drawing magnetic field lines. The direction of the magnetic field is the same as the direction of the lines and the less space between the lines, the stronger the magnetic field. Some magnets are found naturally on Earth. Lodestones are natural magnets made from a substance called magnetite. Magnets can be found in many common household items such as telephones, computer, stereos, refrigerators, and television. Now for this short activity, tell whether each pair of magnets will attract or repel. That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell for you to be updated on our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next episode. Bye-bye!